It was the kind of stylish farewell friends said Bernie Katz would have approved of. Hundreds turned out to walk the streets of Soho to remember the man who became known as its prince. Until his retirement a few months ago, he was the host of the members' club, The Groucho. Many regulars, like actress Sienna Miller, still in shock at his passing at the age of 49. A time, though, to remember his flamboyance and fun. Always in a leopard skin jacket, whirling around like a windmill. Oh, this is a character. I don't know if those people exist anymore. They're sort of the dying, dying out. Everything's changed. To get in it, you have to go around the, the other, around the back side, right. <laughs> so to speak. <laughs> BBC London's Robert Elms was a lifelong friend. They made a film together where Bernie described his beloved Soho. It is like a steaming kettle that won't turn off. It is the whistle blowing and the light flashing and it's all going on and the water bubbling and it's all going. Because Bernie was the essence of this place. He was scurrilous, he was preposterous, he was gorgeous. He was five foot nothing and he had a heart bigger than this square. I mean, Bernie knew everybody. If, if you were touched by Bernie, and it probably meant he touched your bottom, you stayed touched. It was bohemian Soho at its best and the traffic just had to wait while the band played. Friends in Clubland said he could never be replaced. Rather than you're just in a club and it's, oh, hello, goodbye, nice to see you. It was just this soul feeling of, of I say, togetherness. And unfortunately, we live in an age where togetherness is gradually going out of fashion. He'd love this. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, I don't believe in people looking down, but I think he probably will be looking down today. And uh, loving it. <laughs> Film star Dominic Cooper joined the staff from bistros and bars. Even the builders paid their respects to a man who summed up the spirit of Soho. A one-off. Sarah Harris, BBC London News.